So let's keep doing it. Damn, this is weird. First time I saw Jack come from the right. Yeah, I come from this. I go this way now. And then I come back from this way. Yeah, I don't I don't go this way anymore. There's just a wall. And I said I want to jump out the window. <laughs> Dada, maybe if we start losing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mirror your cam. Tathal and Bloodwatcher, Malagos, Wogtoggle, Lich, Baziel. New chair, new walls, new room, new everything. We're even winning now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I don't know how I feel about Lich, Baziel, to be honest. I think she's good, but... I'm scared. I'm gonna do it. Want a one gold spell? Some strategy this time, okay. Tell the others. I'm Holding because we saw that they didn't have anything on board because they hear about for three. The battle is really raging out there. Okay, now we can actually just do double swabby. I think that's totally fine. I'll clean you up. I'll clean you up. I started playing Day the Diver this weekend, by the way. It's a chill game. It is a chill game. It's a nice game, like. I don't know if you if there's the, if you want to just relax for a bit. I, I think it's a good good game for uh, for that kind of thing for sure. Right, I'm gonna buy one here upon next turn. Steal a card from the tavern, take damage equal to its tier. So if there's a high tier card that costs less, no wait. An expensive card. There's a lower tier. It's good. So like with um, Strike Oil. It costs two health rather than three. Okay. I've got quite a lot to say about it. They've d they could have done with the project manager to kept them on track a bit more. There's a lot of um, half-baked idea that don't go anywhere. Okay. This is a bit all over the place. We do get to tear next turn there with a hero power in. You're doing great out <clears throat> I definitely think Dredge is superior of the sea based indie games that came out that month. They've actually done a Dredge X times Dave. Dredge and Dave crossover, okay. Your minions really pulled their weight. So hero prying here is actually not as good as just uh, doing chef's choice. We probably should go for a pirate. Could do an elemental or a beast. I'm not going to do a merlot. The tier 3 elementals are pretty good. The tier 3 elementals are pretty good. I'm not going to do a beast. I feel like we should do an elemental. Living as a right. No one disturbs my home. Hmm. Interesting. 
I, I, never, I never really trust living as a right until we've got two of them. If we've got two of them, I like going for it. With one of them, it's it's never good enough. Let's see. Obviously. And if one living as a right was OP, it was strong enough, it would be OP. But. I played and beat Monotony Manor. Oh, played and beat Monotony, Monotony Manor. Botany Manor. Over the weekend. Cute little puzzle game about cultivating rare plants by working out what special conditions grows them. Cute? Monot Monotony Manor. <laughs> Did we ever just go scalping in Hall of Ferrix for a time? We could do. Start the new Indie Souls like another crab's treasure. Do you play lots of indie games, Vaccine? Okay, question to chat as a whole. What are the best indie games? Best indie games. To be fair, I don't even know what counts as an indie game, to be honest. Hades. You're doing great out there. I mean, Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire, Balatro, Factorio. Golf Story, Dead Cell. Love indie game, I have the Xbox Game Pass, it's like £8 a month and you get a bunch of games to play. Damn. Yeah, I do have Games Pass. I don't use it that much though. Binding of Isaac. I feel like the entire game market now is indie games. Where are the AAA games? Kiss me. See, the new Star Wars has a $120 edition or something. What the fuck? AAA games are for actual suckers. SteamWorld Heist 2 is out in a few months. I've played the first one at least five times. SteamWorld Dig 1 plus 2. SteamWorld Heist. SteamWorld Dig. SteamWorld Dig better than Dave the Diver? Slay the Spire may be the greatest ever. Bro, it's gotta be Slay the Spire. I don't know. What about, what about does Subnautica count? Subnautica definitely counts, right? Best indie games I've played are probably Slay the Spire and Subnautica. Slay the Spire genuinely did change the industry. Slay the Spire has some of the tightest game design ever, in my opinion. The battle is really raging out there. Like, playing, having a six month period of playing Slay the Spire on my stream instead of Hearthstone was actually really good. Like, I really enjoyed it. And I do really like Bellatro as well. Like, I do want to play some more Bellatro. Um, Snake Eyes tier to five. I mean, we're scared of dying here. I 
didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Such big teeth I have. Hiring that minion will get you a triple. I love catching some ways. I'll clean you up. We're ready. For We're blood. ready for blood. Don't tell the others. I'm rooting for you. This tree could actually be really good. Latra is great, but I wouldn't put it in the greats. I can go back to Binding of Isaac or Slayer's Fire over and over, but I never want to go back to something like Call of the Lamb or Dave the Diver now finish them. Yeah, Call of the Lamb is definitely a play once type of game for me, for sure. Call of the Lamb was really good, and it was a fun one to do on stream as well, because I can get Twitch chat involved. But, um. Yeah, I agree with that. I have to make sure we're staying alive here, somehow. Do some damage. Another absolute all-time great into the breach. It's kind of crazy that it's the best balanced deck builder as well as being the first. Jack has played less than 20 indie games in his life and already has a hell-bent opinion on what the best indie game of all time is. So, if I say that the best indie game of all time is Slay the Spire, are you going to say I'm wrong? You can say I'm wrong? Hmm? <laughs> I think Slay the Spire and Factorio both catalyzed entire genres on their own. I've never played Factorio, but I've heard about it a lot. How would, would I like Factorio? It's for smart people. Oh, perfect! By law metrics, Minecraft really should be seen as the best indie game ever. Factory is amazing, but you would not enjoy it. Terraria as well, all time great. War Fortress. Minecraft is massive. OG Minecraft. It's not a stream friendly game if you're not already into it. I think Terraria was the best selling indie ever.
Steam charts most played indie games. Wallpaper engine. What the fuck is that? Stardew Valley. Oh, Lizzie plays Stardew Valley. Your minions really pulled their weight. Vampire Survivors was fun, and very addictive. Yeah, bro. Vampire Survivors was great. This is just a tempo game. That's literally all it is. Wow. I'm just gonna get some divine shields. And then we'll triple this next turn. Weird, using Ferrix and Unforgiving Trian as our as our strong minions. Strange. Valheim was fine, but they're kinda sleeping with bringing new stuff. Bruh, I I mean Valheim just I don't think I think it just wasn't for me. I did actually play I played Valheim for maybe like ten to twenty hours. Because my mates were playing it, so I was like trying to get into it to play with them. But it just wasn't for me. As of February 2021, the game had sold more than 25 million copies. Okay. Rust, Unturned, Rimworld, Palworld. Bro, do people still play Palworld? Palworld popped off. Palworld actually popped off. It sure as fuck wasn't Rust. Holy crap, Stardew Valley sold 30 million copies of the dude that made it. Wait, it wasn't made by one dude, surely. Was it made by one dude? One dude, holy shit. Bellatra was as well? Yeah, I knew Bellatra was. Holy shit, I didn't know that was. That's mental. They often outsource stuff like porting to other platforms, but solo devs are rock stars. <laughs> that's, that's pretty awesome. I want uh, Eliza, I think. We're not very strong. Big Steve's. Wait a second.
Keep up the momentum, friend. Yeah, I really want that Eliza. God damn, I want that Eliza. Shit. Don't cleave me. Mm, that's okay. That could have gone a lot worse. That could have gone a lot worse. Oh god, I need Eliza so bad. Fuck. They're just gonna keep getting Eliza buffs here as well. This is really weird. They get loads of spells. Bro, we've had some weird games today. That's often a sign that we're playing well, though, when we have weird games, because it means we're thinking outside the box. Okay, we're going to lose Titus here, probably. No. Okay. These... Okay. Nice! That's nice. Holy shit, Octasari coming through for us again. Not for the first time today. Undertale not getting mentioned. Bro, it's not Eliza, man. What? I mean, do I ever just get rid of Long John Copper? Hmm. This might be where we die. Did really want this thing golden. Oh shit. Shh shh shh. Down a minion and up shh. A exactly what you were looking for. Up the momentum, friend. The stomp is actually really good. This guy's got so much health on their minions. <laughs> but for some reason, I think we have a chance. Why do I think we have a chance here? I actually think we have a chance. I need them to hit my, uh... That! I need them to hit that! Oh my god! I, I swear we should, we really shouldn't have a chance here. But we do. This is awesome. 240 health! I mean, surely we can't get through that. Surely we can't get through that. We can, though. We literally just can. Oh my god, the trades have gone perfect as well. The stomper is actually sick. The stomper is really good. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Absolutely smashed! Death by a thousand pirate cuts. <laughs> right, and we're against... JJ who has beasts. I kind of want to play around Blaster. I'm going to play around Blaster. Better hire a recruit while you can. 
This is cool as hell. Go big or go home, I always say. Always a blast to compare Jack's reaction to his actual win, right? Wait, it was 45% there, damn. Okay, other most played indie games. Oh, wait, I'll sort by all-time peak. In terms of, like, games that have had the most players at one time, Pal World smashes everything else. Palworld destroys everything else. And then Goose Goose Duck, Valheim, Terraria, Kathy Rain. What the hell is that? Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. Right, how the hell is this gonna go? I don't know. We need to get Divine Shield on the important things. Bro, the the um the Phyrex is absolutely hard carried. It's completely hard carried. 350 health on that? Okay, I don't think we can really beat something with that much health. It's going to continue getting more health as well. And the Stomp is dead, so yeah, we definitely can't kill that. Well, I guess what do we have that's going our way? We have the scaling of Octasari. So, if the Octasari summons multiple things and they're big, that's how we win. And it could. I mean, the, the, the thing's only got like 96 health. My Octosari minions are over 100 health. We're actually fine. Bro, they keep hitting my Titus. Octosari's up to like 116, 116. So two Octosari minions kill that. Literally just two Octosari minions. But that doesn't mean that Octosari has to die before Titus. And that is essential. Okay, that's the way we do it. Right. Two kill it. That's literally what we just said, right? We literally just said two kill it. So we're fine. It's a big first. A fantastic first! God, we're playing so well today. We're on fire! Nice. Beautiful. Massive night for MMR. We're up like almost 500 MMR today.